Spencer Lawn Care, Sean speaking. You need lawn care service. You need the best lawn care service. Oh, you called the right place. We're on our way. Oh yeah, we got a lot of mowers. The best mowers. They're incredible. We'll be on our way. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful sunny day in Ohio? Me? I don't know if they can see you or not, TQ. I'm here. Yeah. They just need to see me. I'm always yeah, here. That's my beautiful face and Lathan's. Don't think I didn't catch you yesterday when you popped into the shot, Lathan. <laughs> Lathan's like Michael Myers. He just pops in at those like critical moments. Yeah, and runs away. <laughs> <It never> runs <laughs> away. <laughs> exactly. So very unique uh, job we have here today. I uh, we're repaying a favor to a subscriber of ours actually, and now that has became a friend of ours. And uh, you guys remember, I don't even know how long it's been ago, three, four months ago, uh, Chase showed up from Katni's Excavating. Chase had reached out to us and said, hey, let me come fix your entrance way to your driveway free of charge. And he did so. So we're here today and we're going to repay that favor with some lawn care service. But anyways, he bought this water park, which I'm going to show you guys. And I believe the water park has been closed for like 40 or 50 years or something. But Chase bought this place. I mean, legit bought this place. So all the old slides and stuff are still here. The fountain, the old, uh, you know, like diving decks and swings and stuff that are out there in the water are still there. And uh, yeah, Chase, come here real quick. I'll have Chase tell you guys a little more about it because I honestly don't know a lot. So all I know is came up months ago and shot some Nerf pew pews. I gotta watch how I rephrase that so we don't get uh, demonetized here on the old uh, YouTube algorithm. But uh, yeah, we shot Nerf thingies. Hey, come here and tell us a little bit about this place. I don't know. Right. What's happening, how are you? Good, man, good, good to, to see, see you again. You. Dog's gonna murder me? No, they're, they're friendly. That's Harley. Uh, that's my dog thing. Nice man. But uh, this place used to be a public swim park. Turn, it was, turn this way real quick. It was called uh, Pine Lake Swimming Lake. It was a public swim park. It opened in the late 50s and shut down uh, about 22 years ago. Oh, okay. And uh, when I got it last year, there was seven feet of grass everywhere. Seven feet. Dredged the whole pond and cleaned everything back up and we just put the diving boards back up the other day people can swim tomorrow oh nice man yeah so uh just so you know lathan is scared to death right now how come oh well did you tell him about the snakes savannah did oh. <laughs> I, w I wasn't gonna tell him so copperheads guys they do come up into ohio believe it or not i've had quite a few encounters believe it or not i had a really aggressive one at one of our houses we owned this thing would ch chase me everywhere so finally we had to uh exterminate him but anyways, my cousin down there weed back and he saw two yesterday and when you see them, they'll charge you. Yeah, they're aggressive. Oh yeah. They are. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to avoid those, but. You got a couple hours to get to the hospital if you get bit by one of them. But... <laughs> Savannah told Lathan and all we've heard the entire hour drive here is about <laughs> these snakes. Well, he don't, have to, he don't have to weed whack, so there's no weed whacking to be yeah. done. He's doing, he did it all, so. Cool. You'll mow over them if anything, you know. So how many acres are we gonna be mowing here today for you? A lot. I'd say there's probably 15 of grass, 15, 20 of grass. 15, 20 acres? Yeah. Okay. It takes me um, on, I have my skag mower. Yeah. That's a 60 inch. It takes me about seven to eight hours to do it all. I normally do it on Woo. Sunday. So if you got three mowers going, it's, you know, you'd be done in two, three, four hours. You need hours. to hire a landscaper. No, I can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for the right amount of money, I'll make the hour trip every week, you Got know? Got the big tractor in there you can drive, too. Well, we'll have but... to check the tractor out as well. <laughs> but, hey, enough chit-chatting, yippee -yam. We're going to get to work here. I just wanted Chase to kind of fill you guys in a little bit here because I didn't know. I thought the thing had been closed like 60 years, but only been closed 20-something years. Yeah. It's cool, though, man. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Going off road. So 
So what I'm trying to do is look at the property to see how I want to mow it. I think I'm going to go up to the front side and take a look. It's rough. He said mow it at four. I think we can get down to three and a half though. Okay. Lathan. It's gonna be hard to see with the sun. It's straight up right now, so just do the best you guys can. Okay, so I'll go one way and Lathan will go the other way. out those stripes across the pond but look how pretty it looks Sean's over there mowing we got Lathan over here we started halfway he's shooting that way I'm shooting this way got this to do over here we're making some good progress but it's such a beautiful property and if it was like one of the past three days, I would probably take taken a dip in this pond because it was hot those three days. But Sean's knocking it out, doing a great job. So is Lathan. And so am I, of course. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's keep going.
Brought them waters out real quick, guys. Making a lot of progress. Doing a phenomenal job. Lathan's way down there. So this video won't do it justice. Right now, we've been mowing uh, about an hour and 36 minutes. So, and we're probably, I won't say we're halfway, but we're pretty close. But looking real good. Did a quick video with Chase up top real fast. Got them some waters, ran them over here. And, uh, yeah, I'm about right to the edge of the tree line on that side of the pond. It is gorgeous. You guys are doing a good job. I ran into something. Did you get the video I sent you? No, I didn't. What is it? It was a bird of some sort. You hit a bird? No, I didn't. I did not. I'm not a bird killer. I was just going to ask you how the heck you ran over a bird. Was it already dead? Yeah. Okay. There's, it's just like this skeleton and feathers just right out there. I okay. Kicked it out of my way. Well, he did tell me they have an eagle's nest up in the top of those pines, a big one. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay. when you said bird, I kind of like. Uh... <laughs> no, I don't. I, I mean, it was a big bird. I don't know. I, it might have been a turkey, honestly. Could be. I don't know what he has all out here. So, I'm gonna get to work. Keep yeah. at it. We're doing good. Like I already told you guys, we're repaying a favor to a friend which started off as a subscriber that reached out to us about fixing our driveway. He brought his semi out, his loader out, the rock, everything out, fixed our hill going into our backyard, and uh, we couldn't thank him enough. With that being said, Chase told me to charge him for this job, and if any of you are interested in what this job would typically cost for three people, a mower, driving here an hour, driving back an hour, fuel costs, labor costs, everything, uh, you know, for 15 to 20 acres, you know, really with not many trees other than that back spot by the building, uh, I would say estimating without not really breaking it down, you'd be in the $1,500 range, maybe $1,300 range. Uh, just off the top of my head, I did not break those numbers down. I'm just saying off the top of my head, that's where we'd be at. But here at the end of this video, uh, I don't think I'm going to record it, but I will tell Chase that, hey, you know, we're going to do this for free. 
I'm assuming this area here used to be a parking lot for the water park back in the day. I'm wondering if it's just buried under all this dirt now. Because right there where I just cut along, you see that grayish looking line, tannish looking line? That's actually a concrete lip. And looking closer at it, it almost looks like a curb, like, you know, like a parking lot curb. So uh, here in a second, I discovered something way back in these woods when I was mowing. I'll show you it, which furthermore made me think this had to have been a parking lot. And not to mention, there's a telephone pole here. And on the right side, there's a pretty good drop off. You guys might catch it in the shot. Uh, I actually end up riding a wheelie kind of up that back side. But uh, yeah, just everything here kind of points to me that this was definitely a parking lot. But let's get it knocked out. I'm using the uh, dozer here as my tripod. Some of you kids have probably never seen what I'm about to show you, and I'm not talking about the mower. I'm talking about this. Yes, so this is a payphone. This is how we used to have to do it back in the day. This one's extremely special because it's just out in the middle of woods and kind of uh, abandoned, but at some point this must have been a pretty hopping spot. 25 cents, that's what it would have cost you. See, you had to actually put in numbers and stuff like that and do some work and then that would pop up and that would pop down. Is there any money in there? Oh, dang. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We've come a long, long way. Okay, turn your mower on. Take the brake off. So we'll just go ahead and avoid the tall, avoid the tall stuff here, huh? Okay, good call, good call. But looks good. Um, Sean's almost done with that little piece there, so we'll just have to get with him and see where else we need to go. I'm gonna finish way over there. All right, guys, I'm breathing. TQ driving me around. So probably not going to see the stripe as well, just because I've been here now about five hours or so. No, let's let's turn around and go back. Just kind of give them the overall. So TQ mowed all the way back to the pavilion around the pond there. Lathan mowed this half out here. Not going to see the stripe, but this thing is going to look phenomenal later. I know it looked good early this morning when we were mowing this way because the sun was behind us in the east. We mowed it this way specifically so that tomorrow evening when they're setting fireworks off here, everybody's going to be looking this way. So the sun will be behind them facing this way from the west, and it's just going to absolutely top and look beautiful. You got it? Yeah. So we Lathan got stuck once. Not a big deal. It was kind of expected. I almost got stuck a couple times. I didn't tell anybody, but I almost put the mower in the pond. I didn't stuff or anything. Good job. So then, mowed it on up to there. It's kind of hard to tell with how the driveway is, but the lines kind of match up as best as possible. Got mowed up to the front road up here. Really can't see anything there, so I'm not worried about that. Absolutely gorgeous. Gonna be a good time tomorrow. Absolutely. We're gonna try to make it up here for a little bit. We've got a few games with the kids or practice and a couple other things we gotta get done and then we're gonna be on out of here. I don't know if you guys caught in the back of the video, but Tent Company came in, Portage John Company came in and uh, yeah, took care of this in the background. You might've seen there, whatever. They pounded like 20 stakes in in like a matter of five minutes, put that tent up. I like the way Chase and them have their setup here, though. I think Lathan's ready to go. You ready to go, Lathan? <laughs> we told him we were going to run out real quick and do a final. 
So then got up in here taken care of and uh, used the dozer to uh, as my tripod. So we're gonna park his UTV here and uh, Oh, you're going to take it back up there? Okay. I, That's where I got it from. I don't think TQ wants to stop driving this I thing. Know. It's fun. So we're going to park it back up here. Big shout out to Katniss Excavating, Chase here, his whole crew, family, everybody. And uh, yeah, probably see him back here tomorrow. That's going to be that. As always, guys. Keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. for a minute. Yeah, I had fun. <laughs>